hello good morning and welcome to friday it's the 5th of july today there's a lot going on new government new government for a start when i say a lot going on i mean mainly in my head it's my dad's anniversary today and most years i've navigated it with not too much trouble my dad died on a friday and for the last week and particularly today i found myself this happened at this time this happened yeah a lot of that it's gone on in my head quite a lot also family member that we don't see anymore it's their birthday today and i'm thinking of them so that's going on as well it's early afternoon now so i've been sitting around all morning doing a bit of crocheting listening to some podcasts and audio books just trying to talk myself down from a a mental a lot a lot that's that's basically it uh, miss warner cooked me breakfast that was delicious i've sold a couple of items on vintage so glenn's just packing those up i've been doing my crochet that's down there and highlight of today i am one pound off from losing two stone yeah i was hoping to reach that target today but no no but what that does mean is that i for the very first time can fit into this dress and i love it i bought this off of an online marketplace i think it was ebay i think i paid about a tenner for it didn't fit nowhere close and it is just so pretty you can't see the skirt but it's a it's a really swishy skirt so that is cheering me today i'm on a roller coaster of emotions today and my main aim is just to get through it in our ready steady cook experiment i found some orzo there and some black olives i've got two peppers and a courgette and a spring onion i'm gonna make something delicious with that just need to get a couple more bits from the shop so come on let's go let's get to the shop before those pesky kids finish school and traffic gets chaos let's let's head out now all right <laughs> Well, that's the shopping done for the next few days. I suggested to Glenn that we go for a coffee somewhere, but the weather is just miserable. So we were just like, no, let's just head back and uh, hunker down. I'm going to sit, do my crochet and maybe watch a bit of Wimbledon. And I'm just going to chill out this afternoon. The traffic is very busy. No one wants to be driving around in this. Welcome to Friday. It's a very wet Friday outside. I'm not working today, thankfully. So I am doing some of the stickers that I want to make for the car. This is some ones with Paul's name on. Cut. And then this will start outlining, cutting it out of the vinyl. I'll show you the end result in a minute. So what I have to do is I have to pick this outer off to reveal the lettering that I've cut out. I haven't got the proper tool with me. I'm having to uh, improvise. So this all comes off and leaves behind the letters. So you're left with with the letters. Well, I just have to go around and get all the little bits. Normally I have a better tool than this, but this this would do. So these ones are silver because these will go on my car which is dark and also Paul's car which his son's driving because that's black. So these will go on the side there but Sarah's car is silver so I need to do some black letters to go on her car. These will all come off when we get back you can just take the letters off. You're left with letters that you want. I've got these transfer tape which helps you transfer it to the car so i'm going to cut it to size you peel this off this is where it's a little bit tricky so then you go down on top of it and then you have to rub it getting all the air out and i'm not going to do it now but basically it ends up looking like that and then when you want to take it off you peel this off and the letters stay on the plastic so that you there can then offer it up to the car and then transfer it so i've got to do some more of that i'm gonna make something delicious with some dark chocolate some almonds and some peanut butter melted the chocolate threw in the almonds a bit of peanut butter and a little bit of sea salt put them on a sheet of greaseproof paper when they have cooled down 
I'm going to stick them in the fridge and they will be my snackage. Also, I've started making dinner. I've grated an onion, done a slice of bread into breadcrumbs, mixed it together. Going to throw the lamb in there in a minute, make some lamb meatballs. I've changed into my comfies. I'm watching tennis. We've moved on from tennis to football. It's like a sports bonanza. It really is. I'm just cooking some veggies. I've cooked the meatballs. That's the veggies cooked. Now I'm doing some tomatoes. I've had a taste and this tastes so good. I've just dropped the meatballs back in. Just while the orzo finishes off cooking. I've added the veggies in. There we go, Mr. Warner. That dinner was delicious. I knew it was going to be because I'd had a sneaky taste, but it did taste good. And I also forgot to tell you, the pineapple and chilli jam that we bought yesterday. I had that on my kebab last night. Oh, that was delicious. 